All right, this is Intro to Literature uh, online. Uh, this is uh, online O L O two or zero two. I'm Lydia Fecto, your professor. Um, you'll see on this screen here um, my email address. You can also contact me through Blackboard. My email address is lfecto at atlantic.edu. And of course, you'll see a phone number there. That's my cell phone. You can leave a message or text me. If you leave a message, give me 24 hours to respond. All right, so the goals for this course um, is that students will develop an awareness of the imaginative power of literature through close readings, collaborating dialogue, and personal analytical writing. Students will appreciate the power of literature to confirm, broaden, and or challenge their worldviews. And finally, students will learn to use texts to support their arguments. Our course requirements are 50% of your grade comes from three analytical papers. They're worth 100 points each, one of them for each genre or theme. Um, they're a minimum of 750 words, so three to five pages. Um, we'll get more about them in just a little bit. Then 30% of your grade will come from the weekly journals, which are worth 20 points each, weekly quizzes, which are worth 100 points each, and weekly discussions. The discussions are worth five points each, and they require a two um, process. First, you post an original comment, and then you respond to a classmate's. Um, finally, you have a midterm exam, which is worth 100 points, and that's 10% of your grade, and a final exam also worth 100 points. The midterm, um, well, we'll get more into that in just a little bit as well, but the midterm should be um, multiple choice and covers fiction and poetry. The final exam covers everything, and it's a collection of essay questions. So for the papers you will do on your fiction, uh, your paper about short fiction, you'll do an analysis paper. Um, for your poetry, you're going to be doing an explication paper. And for the compare and contrast paper, you'll be doing, uh, you'll be doing compare and contrast paper on the drama that we'll be looking at. Um, each paper must be at least 750 words and they'll be handed in through turnitin.com. Your weekly journals um, will be about 200 words and they'll be in response to a prompt. I'll be asking you, for example, um, about how character is seen in our first uh, collection of short stories. Each journal will be evaluated by both the grammar and mechanics, length, each journal must be a certain length, Paragraph development, they should be split into two paragraphs at least, and I should see some paragraph development, and critical thought. Each journal is worth 20 points. Your weekly quizzes, your midterm, and your final. Your weekly quizzes are multiple choice, and they reflect both the PowerPoints and the readings from the prior week. So your reading you do this week will be on the quiz next week. Uh, midterms will be multiple choice and will cover the short fiction and poetry sections. And the final will be an essay form, probably seven uh, out of 12 questions, and that will cover all genres, the fiction all the way through to drama. Because this is an online class, attendance is important. How we dis decide attendance for this class is you must sign on to Blackboard at least once a week. If you miss three, black, well, three weeks of Blackboard sign-ins, you may be assigned an F. For makeup work, I give you a virtual, not real, but a virtual, get out of jail free cards. You, these only apply to the papers, and basically um, you can extend the deadline in one and two of the three papers by one week, but only two of the three. So use these sparingly and carefully and make sure that you um, take into account that last paper that you'll have to do at the end of the semester. Um, you can only apply them to one paper, each one. So you have two of them, you can apply to two different papers. If you chose not to use them, 
They'll each count as a quarter of a grade, letter grade. Together, they'll make up a half a letter grade. So an A minus will become an A. All right, so that's our technical part of this course. Next, we have to ask you, what is literature? So what do you guys think literature is? That's one of our questions I have for you to write um, on our discussion pieces. How would you define literature? First, we look at fiction. Is literature the stuff we always think about when we think about fiction, you know, that you studied in school, which is basically dry writings by dead old white guys, such as Oliver Twist. Come on, Oliver, open up. There we go. Chapter one of Oliver Twist, or The Parish Boy's Progress. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings. Paupers which fluttered loosely on their wasted, shrunken forms after a week or two's gruel. But the number of workhouse inmates got thin as well as the paupers, and the board were in ecstasies. The room in which the boys were fed was a large stone hall with a copper at one end, out of which the master, dressed in an apron for the purpose, and assisted by one or two women, ladled the gruel at meal times. Of this festive composition, each book. So, is that literature? Chapter one of Oops. Oliver Twist, or The Parish Boy's Progress. Or this is, a is this. Recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public. Hi. Or is this literature? It's very hot. Comes to tell him so and takes him shopping for everything he needs to go to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. So I'm gonna read you a little bit of the book where Harry gets the most exciting thing that you would need if you were about to learn to become a wizard. The last shop was narrow and shabby. Peeling gold letters over the door read, Ollivanders, makers of fine wands since 382 BC. A single wand lay on a faded purple cushion in the dusty window. A tinkling bell rang somewhere in the depths of the shop as they stepped inside. It was a tiny place, empty except for a single spindly chair that Hagrid sat on to wait. So is that literature? It's hard to say, right? I mean, is Harry Potter any less literary than Oliver Twist? Just because it's newer and exciting? and written in a language that doesn't make you want to go to sleep? Well, what about poetry? I'm even worse, right? This is what we normally know of as poetry. Oh, my love's like a red, red rose that's newly sprung in June. Oh, my love's like the melody that's sweetly played in tune. As fair art thou, my bonny lass, so deep in love am I. And I will love thee still, my dear, till all the seas gang dry. Till all the seas gang dry, my dear, and the rocks melt with the sun. I will love thee still, my dear, while the sands of life shall run. And fare thee will, my only love, and fare thee will a while. And I will come again, my love, though it were 10,000 miles. So is that poetry? That's what a lot of people think of as poetry. But what about this? tricks longer than I actually knew it. Being whatever they wanted me to be whenever they wanted me to be it. A freak! Inside, outside, kitchen counters, laundromats, two at a time, hotels, motels, and backseat police cars, vans, and jeeps. Made myself like it, because they 
they liked it. And I liked that they liked it, so I continued being the perfect image of a wet dream. Nasty, wild, exotic, erotic. Freak was what they wanted, so freak was who I was. And everybody was walking around talking about me. Like teenage pregnancy wasn't becoming synonymous with being black and woman. Like America wasn't suffocating our thoughts. Like there was nothing to talk about but what I was doing or screwing. And I thought the whole damn thing was ridiculous, which it was. Because I was content giving my men a little heaven between their <sighs> struggle to breathe and contemplation of suicide. Wasn't I good for the cause? Closed mind, open legs, making niggas forget why they so damn angry. Wasn't I good? Then the mood swung as well, the tempo, and I became an ideal. So they want her pretty and docile, caring and stupid. And there I was on your mark, Seth, Joe, and I was Susie Homemaker on the hunt for love. Cooking and cleaning, ironing, faithful and a freak, because that's what they liked. And I liked being what they liked, so what they liked was who I was. A prostitute, selling my soul for emotional gain. Struggling not to be the third generation of lonely women in my family. Struggling to gain, but gaining nothing but confusion, frustration, illusion, and emptiness, because there was no love, just empty condom wrappers on the floors to be discarded like me. A prize performer long before I actually knew it, too. Because I was faking me out of the me I would become. The me that I see now. The me who holds on to herself with both hands and all feet. The me who must have love and give it. The me who brings more to the table than good looks in a wet hole. The me that is confident and intelligent and filled to the brim with respect for me. And a freak. Because that's what I like. And I like being what I So, is that poetry? There is no rules here. Poetry, fiction, it is what we make it to be. What we as the readers connect to. What makes us feel greater than ourselves. And connect us, connects us to the collective whole that is everyone. So I hope that you will enjoy this semester as we delve into what is poetry, what is literature, what is drama? And don't think that it only has to be stuff by dead old white guys. It can be much more. All right? Enjoy your semester. <laughs>